Well, that's right, Stan. People tell us that they can't log on to the system. State officials say the vendor reports that there are no technical issues beyond high volume, and they've hired three more servers to take care of that. Day after day, nothing. No, no response. I'm sending emails. I'm calling numbers that they're giving me. Gary Smith, a father of four, including a five-month-old, finds it beyond frustrating that he can't update his unemployment claim through the state website. We sat with him as he attempted to update and reapply for his claim. And this is the page I just was on, so it brought me back to the same exact page. Gary started a clothing line business in 2019. It's called GOTS, an acronym for We Got Out of the Struggle. His company, before COVID shut it down, made hats, shirts, pants, and shoes for all ages and sizes. He hasn't gotten any benefits for the past nine weeks. It's been tough, and it's been causing a strain. Labor Department officials say the vendor reports no technical issues beyond high volume, and they've added three servers to accommodate the volume. The Department of Labor suggests you look for an apply for benefits button. If no button, you didn't apply for benefits last week or your benefit year has expired, or your money eligibility needs to be redetermined. Smith says he's waiting for $5,000 in back payments, money he can use to pay bills, and to get his company running again. He wants the Department of Labor to help him figure out what the problem is, but he can't get anyone's attention. I just want them to pay attention, basically. You know what I mean? Like, listen, that's it, because it's simple. If they listen to us, then they'll know what the problem is and it'll be easier to fix. Smith and others tell us the same thing. If only someone from the state could be available to communicate with so they can discuss what the problem is and fix whatever it is. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.